Yeah, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you all have seen, many of you actually had seen the news about the River State Governor pulling down, demolition, the assembly complex of River State. Take a look. A picture or video one? Video now, video. Uh -huh. But it's been that picture now. You know, since after the defection of the seven members, which I heard that one of them have made your turn and has come back to PDP or whatever, that's their fucking business. I don't give a damn of their dirty politics. You know, those guys, they are men without shame. Eh? Now, the fight between Fubara and Wike had been properly analyzed because you cannot understand the problem if you don't know the cause. Listen to this. I have written it in my submission that the current problem that has happened in River State is not any structure. And it is not that Wiki is demanding for any money. That is not what happened. What happened is that Fubara discovered that previously the internally generated revenue of River State was about 10 billion before he came in. After he came in, the internally re generated revenue went down to 6 billion. Instead of it to uh, appreciate, it was depreciated. As an accountant, he was worried. So he called the director, state internal revenue, and said, what is happening? monies are now dwindling our in our internally generated revenue is dwindling what is happening the man could not give a satisfactory answer so he said go and bring me all the the earnings by the state so the man went and took four and said ah oga in abuja this man is asking too much questions so he said okay don't worry Go and go and go and speak to him. When he went to speak to him, the man called somebody called Chamberlain Peter Side. Chamberlain Peter Side was the former commissioner of finance under Amechi, and he was from the same area with uh, Fubara, and he has contributed in his own way towards Fubara's success. So Fubara was not looking at him as a man of Amechi, but as a man that they have come, they have grew, grown up together with in the same area, and who is well versed in the area of finance to come and assist. So he... Now, Jambalim Peter said happened to come from the same area with Fubara, and he was the commissioner for finance under Amechi. And because the Chamberlain Peter side is an expert and they grew up together, he was not looking at him as a commissioner on that meeting, but as a friend that would have broke the, 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 they grew up together and the man has the knowledge of River State. And the man was was part of the people who work, who worked for him to succeed in the election. He invited him to come and help him to find out what is wrong. Together with an ICT expert, they came together and then with the internal revenue man. The internal revenue man was collecting instructions from Wiki and they discovered that the monies were being that, that is Wiki that is directing how the monies were to be uh, classified. And they told him. And so Wiki became angry and said, uh, 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 they are interfering with structure. There, there was no interference with any structure. Notice, no structure, no nothing at all. He wants to use the, the, the fact that Chamberlain Peter Side, who was a commissioner under Amechi, 
was brought in to help, you know, as the issue of, uh, of uh, structure. There was no any structure. Now, having to come to that respect, I want you to know that Fubara is not a fool. He has learned the, the tropes very well. Good. What can you make of this? No. What is the summary of what you just heard? That a man single-handedly from what we had over six billion or about six to five billion or five to six billion is being diverted on the orders and directive of Winke from state revenue. From state revenue. And you don't want the governor to do anything. This is a man that was saying all manner of shit. That he will not interfere and the rest of them. Believe Wiki at your own detriment. Trust Wiki at your own detriment. And don't allow Wiki to happen to you ever in your life endeavor. I will keep saying it. I will keep saying it. These are the kind of people you call your political leaders. The kind of hardship these guys have brought upon Nigerian people. Nigerian people are just looking at this. When I say these things, they think it's just about just talking and criticizing. I want to open your thinking faculty. I want Nigerians to get to the point where they'll be so angry that they will rise up and say enough of this madness and put these men where they rightfully belong. Because we are tolerated this madness it is not just in river state it is happening in the 20 state the 30 state of this country including abuja the seat the the capital of impunity by politician you can never think of around the world the worst of them are in nigeria the capital is in abuja nigerians will keep adjusting adjusting five billion one person in a month, what will you do with this thing? If you are giving five billion and in, in your entire lifetime, even if you're spending one, one million naira on daily basis, you will spend at most 365 million every year then check how many years these guys are amassing this primitive wealth as a governor for eight years now as a minister the same way they are recycling themselves from one political office to the other they don't want to leave all this money you are amassing just one person now check the number of political class that are amassing this wealth and the detriment of nigerians from the east to west from north to south and yet you don't get sense. And yet you think Yibo man is your problem, or Hassan man is your problem, or Yoruba man is your problem. The same people suffering your, the same thing you're suffering. Every one of us, whether you are from the east, north, west, and south, as long as you are a Nigerian, this same madness is happening to you and impacting on your life. Go out there, people are suffering. And few people are amassing this world from public fund, from public fund. They don't have any business. They don't have manufacturing companies. They have nothing to offer. They're not producing nothing. Then yet they are a massive wealth. And at the end of the day, you'll be the ones clapping for them and supporting them in the election. When we preach for ballot revolution, people don't understand. If Nigerians are angry enough, eh, this country will be boiling and burning. It will be too hot for these men to exist. I wonder do I wonder how people look at us from outside. Honestly. One man. It's not just about Wiki. There are many wikis everywhere in this country. Hardly will you see any Nigerian politician. Hardly will you see just very few of them that are exceptional. That are service oriented. Just very few. And hardly will you find any one of them. outside APC or PDP. They will all belong there. Canker worms and caterpillars. Parasite. Blood suckers. In the name of political class. 
they all possess the same character. That's why when I talk, people don't understand the level of suffering in this country, yet people are amassing this world, and you're not angry yet. The, the worst you can do is to go to church and keep praying. Nothing will change. Nothing will ever change. Things will continue to go down. You continue suffering. Let me just end it here. Just share your thoughts. I just want to provoke Nigerians to understand the depth of impunity going on in this country. And until you say enough is enough, you will continue being used at the pawn in the chairs for them to continue their game of a massive primitive world they don't need. Because I don't know what they are amassing this world for. How long are even if you're going to live in this world forever? And one thing they don't understand is that these things are transitional. You will be in power today, tomorrow you are no longer there. Look at Buhari. Buhari as a president. Look at him as a former president recently. Nigerians, it's up to you. Let me just end it here. What's your thought on this? Drop it on the comment section. Help me share this video because this message is hitting target and opening up the consciousness of Mumu Nigerians that had made themselves willing tools in the hands of these politicians. Bye-bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and stay connected to the voice of truth because it is only this truth that will set, set you free as a Nigerian from Nigeria because Nigeria has happened to all of us. Bye-bye for now.